day three of testimony in the Boston Marathon bombings trial. More victims took the stand today, including the friend of one of the three victims killed and a woman who told jurors how she and her husband each lost legs in the bombings. Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan is live in our control room with more details from court today. Well, the friend of Lindsay Luz recalled hearing a loud noise. She thought it was a sewer explosion, so that friend grabbed Lindsay's arm, asked what they should do next, and then seconds later, that second bomb went off. Lindsay Liu was one of three people killed in the 2013 Boston Marathon bombings. On Monday, her close friend Dang Ling Zhou testified that after the second bomb went off, she remembers seeing a man whose legs were gone. And when she looked at Liu, she thought she would be okay because she still had her arms and legs. But she would later find out at a Boston hospital that her friend was killed. Marathon bombing survivor Jessica Kensky told jurors she still has 30 to 40 metal fragments from the bombs in her body because they're too dangerous to remove. Kensky and her husband Patrick Downs both lost legs in the bombings. In describing the chaos after the bombs went off, she told jurors she remembers trying to shield her husband from looking at his leg and that she didn't realize she was on fire until a man pushed her down and put out the flames. And an FBI investigator testified he's examined 655 videos collected from the crime scene. Of those videos, 70 contain defendant Johar Zernayev and his older brother, Tamerlan. I'm Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News. Day four of testimony is expected tomorrow from federal court in Boston. Eyewitness News and WPRI.com will bring you all the latest information as it unfolds, both on air and online.